What if you could create detailed 3D objects in seconds without spending a dime? Today, I'm showing you how Hunyan 2.5 uses AI to turn your ideas into 3D models. And the best part is completely free. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Here's the platform I mentioned in the intro of this video. I will also put this link in the video description down below, guys, right below the like button. And while you are down there, make sure that you smash up the subscribe button as well. The sign up process for this platform is quite straightforward. Now here I'm using the Edge browser. Let's click on login and here click on the mailbox. Now here I recommend that you create one 10 minute mail and just copy it and paste it inside here. Then once you've done that, click here to get a verification code and click on agree. Now just wait for a few seconds and go to your 10 minute mail provider. Click on refresh here and now you should get this mail where you will find these numbers. Just copy them and paste them inside here and click on login. And that is pretty much it. Here just click on request an experience and now you will get message congratulations on unlocking the 3D feature and look forward to surprises for your creations. Now one thing which I should quickly show you guys is this model model which I created before recording this video. So here you can see here that I have Blender open and this is the model which I created before. So this is Naruto and this is what it looks like here. And I think that it's absolutely crazy that now AI models are capable of creating this type of meshes and the objects for your 3D modeling software completely for free. I think that this model looks absolutely stunning. And by the way, this was created from an image. Now let me go back to the Huanyan platform and let me show you exactly how I did that. Now here on top, you will click on AI creation. And now here you will also find two models. One is Wensheng 3D. With this model, you can create a 3D mesh using only the prompts. However, if you click here on Tushang 3D, able to upload your own image, use your own model. So whichever model you prefer. And then you can also generate PBR maps. More about that later in the video. Now here you will have to click on upload an image. However, you also have here the second second option, which is multiple images. And you can, for example, upload the character from front view, rear view, right view, and left view, and the mesh will be more complete, nevertheless. Now here, I will guide you through a single image first. So make sure that you have an image. I will just show you guys a very simple image, which I got before. So this is the image I used to create my 3D model. And this is my simple prompt, which I used. So here, I will go back to the Sora or whichever platform you use to generate AI images. And here I will just prompt it once again. And for example, from Naruto, I will go to something else like the Garfield, for example. So I will just put in Garfield instead of Naruto. And let's click on the arrow to generate an image. I will also put this prompt in the video description down below, guys, so you guys can easily use it and modify it to your own preferences. And that way you will get the best images possible. And let's just wait for Sora to finish generating here. And now here we have the image of Garfield. Now here I will just click on the arrow here to download this image and let's go back to the Huanyan 2.5. Now here I'll click on upload an image and let's click on the Garfield here and click on open. Now just wait for it to upload and then here down below you will select the model. Now I highly recommend that you select here the version 2.5 because it's the latest. However you also have here version 2.0 which is previous release and now here you also have generate PBR maps. Now, in addition to the basic texture colors, PBR maps, base color maps, metalness maps, roughness maps are generated to provide more realistic lighting and material effects. So I highly recommend that you also have this option here enabled. And now once you've done that, simply click on generate it now. And now you will be redirected to this page. It's expected to take another seven minutes to build your own character or make it into the 3D model from an image. You can simply click here on X. And now if you go here under the assets, you can just wait for it to finish creating your character. As you may have seen here on this website here, you also have a ton of the presets. For example, we can take a look here at the Spider-Man here. And you can see here that it has some kind of an armor on it and also this glossy effect. So here you can preview it. And I think it looks very, very nice. You can, for example, also click here on the white mold. So this is the white mold, which you can preview. Then 
albedo and also the gradient. Overall, I think that the model looks very, very high quality and you can also download it by clicking here on the download button and then you can import it into the Blender 3D software, for example. We can also click here on multiple images and create something completely different here. So I will go back to Sora and I will modify this prompt and I will add back view. So just like this and let's click on the arrow and let's wait for Sora to finish generating this rear view. And then we are going to also generate the right view as well as the left view. And I also forgot to mention, but you get 20 of the credits and for each generation, it takes one credit. So it means that with the free account, you are able to generate 20 of the 3D models, which I think is very, very cool. Now here we can already upload the front view, which I will use the same image as before of the Garfield. So just like this, then we can go back to Sora here and let's download this first one. And I will just modify this one to modify this prompt for the left view and let's click on the arrow. And then the last thing to do is to modify this prompt for the right view as well. So here I will go back to the Huanyan and let's upload the rear view here. So just like this and the Huanyan will automatically scan your image here. And now here we got the left view and the right view and I will just download both of the images here to my computer. So just like this and now let's go back to the Huanyan and let's upload the left view here and let's upload the right view as well. So just like this. And now we can see here that we have the front view, the back view, the right view as well as the left view. Now you can click here on generate it now and you can see here that it is estimated that it will take 240 seconds to build. So let's just wait for it to finish. And this is basically how you guys can use Huanyan to create 3D models from images. One thing which I highly recommend for the images that you have transparent background. So make sure that you include transparent background image in the prompt of your image which you are creating. However, on this platform, you guys can also generate 3D models from prompts as well. But I think that the output is very, very similar to the image. So overall, I think that you guys can also use this feature. And down below, you can also find which textures you prefer. For example, you can go with general, cartoon, a cyberpunk, sto stone carving, or even blue and white porcelain. So I think that this is pretty much it for the this model. Let's just wait for Huan Yan to finish generating and let's see the results. So now let's take a look at the results. So the one which we uploaded the reference images like the front view, back view, left view and the right view. So this is the actual model, the Huan Yan 2.5 actually came up with. So this is what it looks like. Now here on the front, I think it looks okay, but the face looks kind of weird to be fair. However, we can also take a look here at the right view of the cat. Now you can, you guys can clearly see that the cat has two tails, which I think it's totally wrong. However, the overall model quality, I think it looks very, very nice. Now, overall, I think that the first result, so the model from the first image will look a whole lot better than this one. However, I think that for the free AI model, it's okay. Now, let's go back here and let's just wait for the Huan Yan to finish generating our second model. The second result is also in, so let's take a look. Remember, we used only one reference image for this model, so let's take a look at it. Now, to be fair, I think that this one looks even worse than the first one. So we can clearly see here the artifacts on his face as well as here on the back we have this weird kind of texture here. So yeah, I think that the models here are hit and miss. However, I think that the one which turned out the best is this Naruto one. So this one was quite simple to make. So just a simple image upload and then the AI did its thing. So yeah, overall, I think that you should definitely give this tool a try. I will leave its link in the video description down below, guys. So you guys can easily try it out. And by the way, it's completely free. You have 20 of the credits per day and uh, you guys can create 20 of the 3D models. So please let me know what do you think about this tool if you gave it a try like this video if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel as well your support is highly appreciated and with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all around in the next video